It's Ladies Night introducing out of the blue corner setting, five foot ten inches tall, weighing at 131.6 pounds. Making her kickboxing debut, fighting out of off the chain MMA from Hopsmith, Jesse the Machine Gun T -t 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 Terry. Then fighting out of the fifth framing red corner, setting five foot two inches tall, weighing at 124.6 pounds. Making her kickboxing debut, fighting out of Family Combat Fitness, out of Fort Smith, Holly Highball! So right away, you can just see the height's different, the length's different. You see Holly trying to come in, get to the body. And those machine gun punches are going, man. She's probably landed 14 punches already. Beautiful right hand, Holly Harville. She's got to use those legs to keep Holly away from her. She's doing a great job using her jab out there. She's not throwing any power. But again, like Nick Diaz, man, Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz, man, he would just pop, 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 just pepper and just put his people down. And she's doing a great job. A little higher, got a head kick there. She is definitely outscoring Holly right now in this first round. 5-2 versus 5-10. Eight inches. That's reach. Now you see the frame of Holly. Looks like she can pack more power, but you got to be able to get in to use it. And Holly's doing a great job, or uh, Jesse's doing a great job of using her length, her distance. She's not even loading those punches. I mean, she's just literally going one, two, one, two, one, two. Machine gun in those arms out there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Holly's got to move that head. I mean, she's not even turning her shoulders. Jesse's not moving her hips or her shoulders. If, if Holly would just move her head out of the way and counter with the right hand like she already did once, she's got the power to do it. She's just getting peppered. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Bop, 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 bop. I used to pick a Mortal Kombat character that did that with his, with his arms. And she's just running those straight down the pipe. Holly, move her head out of the way. There's a roll, duck under. Counter, she's got to go to that girl's ribs. I don't have a dog in this fight. I, uh, as a, a, a fan, you know, being a coach, being a being a former fighter, professional fighter, being a commentator, you know, I look at both strength, weakness, and still fighting for a fan. Come on, punch her in the face. Holly's got to get underneath, get on the inside, come around the top, roll underneath of those straight punches. That is round number one, and that is definitely a dominating round for Jesse Terry. All right, so let's go. We're watching a replay right now. You see Holly trying to come inside, but man, her one punch, see, it didn't even land. There it landed right, that was in the beginning of the round, the first 20 seconds, and I think that was the only solid right hand she landed. Her other punches landed outside of Holly's arms. Her tall frame, she's standing tall too, so she's not even leaning forward into these punches. Jesse's not. And you can see the difference. Jesse's standing straight up, Holly's leaning forward, and Jesse can still tag her with her lead right, left and right hands just because they're just so long and she's putting so many out there. It's hard when you feel like you're getting overwhelmed and all you can do is just throw a counter punch. You know, offense is what wins. Offense wins games, Super Bowl tomorrow. Yes, the defense is very important, but unless you get a score on that board, you know, it's not going to matter. You have to have offense. Counter offense is just not the same. It's still effective, but you've got to, you know, we have probably 100 punches to 20. 
um, connected punches in that round. And there she goes, just fire straight out. She ate a right leg kick, and she just followed it by four punches. Six punches. So she's throwing that from her hip. And man, she'd throw that hand from her face, see how wide it is, she'd have 10 times the power on it. And Holly's taking those punches like a champ, so trying to fire back. It's just making up that eight inch reach difference in height. And that's, you know, I don't know what it is with the wingspan or the length of the legs. That's, see there, she slipped her punch and was able to come inside, but she wasn't able to capitalize on it by going to the body, coming back to the head. You know, it's truly a, a volume game. There's her one right hand, but she's not landing it with her hips. She's putting her arm up there. She pivot. You know, I'm always for the underdog. Like Levi in that last round. We're round two of round three of three round battle in the third and the fourth battle fight of the night. Holly Harville versus Jesse the Machine Gun Terry and the Machine Gun is loaded. She fully extended that leg side kick and didn't even touch Jesse. That's the reach difference. There, that was her best combination of the night so far. I call it out a light em up. It's a double jab cross. Most people throw a jab, they don't throw double jabs. They usually don't fall behind it. So punches and bunches are gonna win and that's why, why uh, Jesse's doing so well tonight. Hope you're enjoying this fight. We're over halfway through this half of the battle. There, she was able to keep it away. A little blood coming out of Holly's nose. And that's just because of the volume of punches that the machine gun is throwing at her. She's got two rounds in. She's won both rounds. Juan's running over there with the chair for Jesse to sit those long legs down. Come on. Let's go, coach. Holly just sat down. All right, game plan time. What would you do if you were Jesse? Exact same thing? If you do, that means you're not prepared for her. Holly to make the adjustments. And is she gonna make the adjustments? So her coach is talking to her right now. They're gonna say, you gotta move your head side to side. You gotta be able to come in, close the gap, close the gap, close that distance, and be able to counter. Now this is where you get a swing to the finches. It's the last round. Can she catch her with that hook? Looks like she's got a pretty decent hook. Is she gonna get the pivot? Hips behind it to do enough damage to Jesse Terry to drop her to her knee to make this an even fight or put her out. If I was Jesse, I'd make the adjustments. Not only would I just put those machine guns, I'd pull and reset. I would back up every single time. I would not stand there and engage. I would strike, I'd move. I'm prepared for an overhand. I'm prepared for the honey badger to be put in the corner. See how she keeps coming forward? She's come, there is a right hand. That's how she's gonna get caught. There's another right hand. I didn't say I told you, I'm just saying. So Jesse needs a machine gun and back up, reset. Holly needs to slip left, slip right. She always comes forward with that left hand first. I don't think I've ever seen her lead with a two. A 
One, two is a pretty stiff jab right there by Jesse. That was probably her, her most powerful jab. She's coming forward. She's coming forward. One, 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 Holly. Two, three. Yeah, it was a little right hook there. Ooh. See, if she can just tag Jesse's body a little bit, Jesse's hands will automatically drop down. Just being aware of the body shots. And she does that a few exchanges, and that head is hers. Here we go. Now, Jess, now Holly led with a couple good jabs, stiff jabs to the face. Hardest thing to do is punch somebody when they're punching you. That is the, the cover, the roll, the catch. I will tell you, what I've liked about this more than anything so far is the fact that not a single one of them has clinched up with each other. Man, I can't tell you how many boxing fights I'm training our guys for lately. And, and we put the volume on these guys, and they just want to grab and clinch. And, and she didn't clinch there. She threw her counters and circled out of the corner. These girls are here to fight. Good leg kick from Holly. There's her body shot. That was clean to the stomach. We're under a minute left in the third round. Another good, powerful leg kick. See a little redness on the side of Jesse's leg. You just got to have more of those in volume. Go to the Billy again, go overhand to the face. I'm just really surprised Jesse hasn't taken that one body kick. She throws that right leg to the body. There's a lead left leg to the body. Now, one time she come up to the head that, because you see Holly's hands drop down and block those body shots. Her head is fully exposed. Ten seconds. Machine gun. She's locked and loaded. She ain't stopping. That's it. That is three rounds to none right there. I'm calling it Jesse Terry unanimous decision, even though we got to go to the judges, and I haven't trusted those fools for about 30 years. So we'll see, we'll see how the Arkansas judges fare in this. But I think we all see that. That was fantastic by Jesse using her reach, using her length to be able to keep Holly at bay. Holly had a couple good right hands. She had a couple good leg kicks, but the volume wasn't there. Jesse's going to win this three to one, three to none. Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that war? That what you were looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, all three judges scored the bout for your winner by unanimous decision. Jesse the Machine Gun to Terry!